If you love your bike and don't want to lose it to bike theft, then you need to know how to lock it securely. Buying a good lock is always cheaper than replacing a decent bike, so get a good lock and you won't regret it. Most importantly, it should be Soul Secure tested, so look for the Soul Secure logo on whatever lock you buy. Hardened steel chains with a good padlock or a decent D-lock are the best things to buy. For example, our new Hiplock Gold is the toughest lock we've ever built. It's Soul Secure Gold rated and it's perfect for high risk areas. If you prefer a D-lock, opt for one that has a secondary cable. These are useful for protecting wheels and accessories against the opportunist thief. The Hiplock DC is a good example. Having a good lock is vital, but you also need to think about where you're locking it. There are some do's and don'ts. Do find a well-lit, busy location, ideally covered by CCTV. Don't secure your bike to wire fencing or weak railings that can be cut. Your lock may be hard and steel, but the chances are the thing you're locking your bike to won't be. Don't lock your bike to anything or your bike can be lifted off. Check the other bikes in the area. If there are frames with parts missing or individual wheels locked to racks, it's a sure sign that bike thieves are operating in the area. When you're locking your bike, make sure to do the following. Always have the main lock locking up the frame. In high risk areas, remove or lock up anything that can be easily removed. The goal is to make it as awkward as possible for the thief. Get your lock up as high as possible. A lock on the floor is much easier to break into. Try to leave as little room as possible for thieves to get tools in between the bike frame and the lock. Most importantly, never leave your bike unlocked. Bike thieves are opportunistic. It only takes a few seconds to steal an unlocked bike. Remember, always take a lock with you.